Welcome to our channel once again my friends, Realized Guyana, home of traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we're going to be doing a recipe for egg curry with balanche and potato. We already have an egg curry, some of you guys know, uh, with only the egg and the potato. So today, egg curry is also cooked uh, with bacon, tastes yummy. So we're going to do that version of a curry today. Makes it even more delicious, right? So for this recipe, we're going to be using one eggplant, bacon, uh, potato, onion, garlic, pepper, the usual ingredients for curry. We're going to be using scallion as well, one stem scallion. Some curry powder, roasted ground jeera, garam masala, and of course, pepper, salt, black pepper to taste. So yes, as I said, this is another, uh, uh, there's a few ways you can cook a curry. You can add stuff to your curry. So, and balanche is one of the things that you, you add to curry as well, to a curry as well. So that's the portion we're going to give you today. So, having said that, let's get started with this recipe, guys. So if it's your first time here, guys, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notifications so you don't miss any updates from us whenever we post new videos. So as you can see, guys, for one balanche, we're using a small onion. That's all you need. You don't need a very large onion for one balanche. So we have left some of the skin on our balanje as usual. So our bygan eggplant is already cut up. We're gonna go work on the potato now. So we're going to make our curry paste now. And that's of course the pepper and garlic. And now the curry powder, roasted rung jeera and the garam masala. We're going to add to the onion and garlic. The pepper and garlic as a matter of fact. Some water. So we usually add a water to the mortar to get out whatever is stuck on there in the garlic and pepper and that's it our curry paste is ready now that we have everything ready we're going to add our oil to get heated up here which doesn't take very long our karahi is already hot so this won't take long to heat up the oil so our oil is now hot and we're going to go in with our onions so we're going to let this fry for about 30 45 seconds so once our onion has fried a little bit, we're going to add our curry paste now. That's just a bit of water. So we usually cook our curry paste for about 2 minutes. And you want to stir in that 2 minutes to prevent burning since there's not a lot of liquid in your curry paste. So it's been two minutes for our curry paste guys and we're gonna add our eggplant and potato together which we've washed. We're adding some salt. 
black pepper. We are now going to give this a good mix. Now this is a bunjang process of making of your curry. You want your ingredients to be infused with the curry paste. That's what bunjang is and that's what adds flavors to your curry. That's the important process of making a curry. So once you have given this a good mix and everything is distributed in there and your contents are coated with the curry paste, you're going to now cover this and let it bunge. See you in a bit. So in the meantime our bunjang process is going on. We are heating up some water to boil our eggs for the curry. So our four eggs are boiling guys. So you don't have to use exactly four eggs in this recipe. You can use less, you can use more. So we are giving our bacon and potato a first turn here. We're bunjing now as I said. We're locking in all the flavors of that curry paste. And you can see it's looking nice. So you're gonna just give this a, a turn after about you know a couple of few minutes and cover it back. So it's time for another turn for our bacon and potato. Our egg is still boiling away. So this is looking good guys, this is looking yummy already as you can see. Look at those potatoes man. Mm. So at this point we're gonna add some water guys. The bunjing process is over, which is uh, releasing its juices and evaporating again. As you can see, there's just a little bit of uh, liquid in there now. So we're going to add some to cook it. Give this a mix. So we're going to cover this back and let it cook. And our eggs is going to be ready soon and we're going to prepare that for our curry. Alright, so our egg is finished boiling, time is up for our eggs. We're gonna peel these and get this prepared. There you go. I'm gonna pour some cold water over these, cool them off rapidly. So look at how yummy our bacon and potato is looking guys. So all we gotta do is prepare our eggs and add it in here now. This is basically finished cooking. So we're gonna leave this on to Simmer a bit until we add our eggs. So we're now gonna add our chopped scallions in our curry. So we remove the curry after all from the stove because it's finished cooking. We're gonna wait until we prepare the eggs and add them in there. So now we have our boiled eggs which we have peeled already. So here we have our eggs and we also have some flour. So we're going to be frying our eggs for our egg curry guys. The egg is usually fried and the reason why you fry the eggs is because it's, the frying creates a layer on the eggs that sucks up, that uh, locks in the juices of the curry. So your top layer of your egg is going to be juicy in your curry. So that's the reason why you fry the eggs. We add some oil to our little karahi. So our oil is hot. So you gotta be careful with frying eggs. As you know, the oil spatters a lot. You can get burned, so be careful when you're frying your eggs. That's the reason why we are coating it with some flowers to minimize the spattering. So there, that's just about half a minute or so. Doesn't take very long to fry. So you're gonna turn them and you know fry as much of the entire layer of the egg. 
So this flower that we've coated it with has minimized the splattering a lot. Like there hasn't been even any splattering. So I advise you to coat with flour as well as we did. So there our eggs have been fried nicely. You can see the, the layer that it has created here now. So we're just frying the other side a little bit and that'll be it. So we're gonna remove our eggs now guys. And we're gonna add them right into the curry. There you go. So that's it for this recipe guys. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Click on the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Remember to turn notifications on on your phone as well. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.